Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is an ex- that was loud. Sorry. So today is an exciting video because I went to Walmart yesterday looking for a new drugstore brand that's out that I cannot find yet, but I've only went to one, so stay with me because I have two more to go to if I can't find it. But I went to the drugstore trying to find this new brand because I want to do a full video dedicated to new drugstore brands. So if you guys know any, let me know in the comments. I had a different brand, Semi PR, that I never heard of that's at Rite Aid and Target that I'm going to do a video on and like test them out in the video. And then I want to try out this other brand, and then I think there's one more. Even though I could not find this brand, I did find so many new products that I wanted to test out because Walmart is like a hidden gem in the drugstore, I feel like. I don't know about you guys, but I normally go to either Ulta or Walgreens. And let me just say, Ulta and Walgreens is a lot more expensive than Walmart. So just wear your favorite sweatpants and go to Walmart and get your favorite makeup for a lower price. <laughs> Everything that I'm wearing on my face right now is drugstore. I believe the only thing that is not drugstore is my eyeshadow primer just because I wanted to give these eyeshadows a fair shot. I'm very impressed with everything that I have on my face and I cannot wait to do like a wear test on some of this stuff. I think the face product that I use, like the BB cream, is gonna be a new favorite. I can already tell. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up for drugstore makeup because we all love drugstore makeup. And also don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this drugstore makeup look, then let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is put this mane up. <laughs> I look like crap. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm gonna use a, where did Davis put my eyeshadow primer? <laughs> I'm gonna give these eyeshadows a fair shot. And this is my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It's my favorite. If you have oily eyelids, this is a must have. A lot of people asked in my last video where Davis purchased all of my makeup from Sephora and I had to put it on. A lot of you asked why I didn't use that concealer as an eyeshadow primer. And that's because I have very oily eyelids, like super oily. And that concealer I used is very luminous and I knew it would just be such a hot mess if I put it on. I skipped that part. We just went without it. You know what I mean? The eyeshadow I'm going to use today I'm really excited about because I saw it in store at Walmart and I was like, what? It is a hard candy matte eyeshadow pro palette. All of these eyeshadows are matte. I'm a matte eyeshadow lover, so I saw this and I had to have it. That is gorgeous. This better be good pigmentation. If this does not blend well or something, I'm going to be really sad. This palette comes with two brushes. I can't say I'm going to use these. So this palette comes with two dual-ended brushes. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this shade right here and I'm going to set my entire lid. I'm really hoping these shades are as good as I feel like they'll be because if not, I'm going to be really disappointed. Okay, so first shade went on pretty well. Now I'm going to go in with this blending brush and I'm actually going to take, I think I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to blend this into my crease. This one right here is speaking to me, but we'll get to that in a moment. So far, it's looking pretty decent. I also got another eyeshadow palette from Flower Beauty, which I might try to dabble in today, but we'll see. But I heard great things about one, about that as well. I haven't really tried a lot of Flower Beauty products, minus the loose powder that you guys know I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so I definitely picked up a few things from Drew Barrymore's brand and figured I would try it out for you guys. I'm gonna like this shade and put that in the crease as well, but a little bit below that transition shade. Ooh, that's pretty. So right in the crease. Just don't go above that first shade we put on. Then I'm gonna take some of this red. I'm gonna bring it in from the outer half to midway on the lid. So about right there. and also drag it into the crease. I like that it's not too overpowering. I mean, you could tell it's more of a warm red shade, but it's not too much, you know what I mean? Because I think people would look at this in the palette and be like, whoa, what am I gonna do with that? It's not too intimidating at all. I think that is really, really pretty. Woo! I love red and orange eyeshadows like for spring, summer. You guys know, can't get away from them. I'm really liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, cool. Okay, now we're gonna reach into the Flower Beauty palette. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> we're gonna reach into the Flower Beauty palette. This is 
Oh, it has a bonus $6 brush, which is nice. The only thing I'm noticing about it that I normally do every time I do my eyeshadow is that I don't see a matte cream color in here. It's just all shimmers. But I mean, that's okay. I could always use a face powder to set my lids, you know? I don't have to be too crazy about it. But it does have some really nice, ooh, that color. That's a really pretty shade right here. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna take the darkest brown. I'm gonna use the brush that's in the palette. Tap that off. It looks like quite a bit's on the brush. I'm just gonna put this in the outer V. Wow. Not gonna go too far with it because I want the red to really show. I'm using this just in the outer V to really deepen it up. Also taking it a little bit into the crease, but again, not too much. Then I'm gonna go back in that red tone shade and I'm gonna blend it out. And that way you can see it. So I'm just gonna take it on the edges little bit in the crease mainly right here in the middle of the lid now we're going to spice up the inner corner a little bit and we're going to take one of the shimmery shades again from the flower beauty powder i am pretty impressed with this dark brown i mean look at that that is really nice i mean that wasn't like the best swatch but that was really nice so i'm going to take this mac 242 and i think i'm going to go in with more of a golden shade in the very inner corner just to really make it pop and then we'll use the other lighter shades to highlight the brow bone and stuff when we're done. I'm sorry, that's like so annoying. I'm just cleaning my brush. So I think I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's like a gold champagne color. Very pretty, nice and light. And that looks really pigmented. Wow. That's a brush swatch. I'm going to put this right in here. Okay. I love these two palettes together. Okay, awesome. So that's the eyeshadow look with these two palettes. If you bought both of them together, it'd be around $26 USD. I really like it. I really love this matte palette, to be quite honest with you. I want to swatch the black in it real quick just to see how intense it is. There is some fallout, but I can get over that. Okay, the black is not very intense. Um, it's more sheer. That's just one swipe. This is like built up. So if you don't like something like that, yeah, the black doesn't swatch very well, but then again, I have not put it on my eyes, so it could look a little bit better. But if you don't want something too deep, that might be the black for you, because some people don't want a super intense black, you know what I mean? So I'm going to take this Hard Candy 12 Hour Smudge Proof Felt Tip Eyeliner. It looks really nice on the packaging, so let's swatch it. That's a nice black liner right there. This is what it looks like up close. It's a felt tip, which I love felt tip liners. It's going to be completely up to you if you like felt tip or not. So let's just see how this applies. Okay, not in love. Didn't I get another liner? Difficult to work with. It's really... It tugs on the eye and the felt tip's like too dry for me. It's not saturated with product like I like. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. But I did buy the Flower Beauty Liquid Liner. It's water resistant, all day wear. And this is a brush tip liner. So y'all pray for me, because I haven't done a brush tip liner in so long. But this is what the packaging looks like. Wait, is that a, oh, that's a felt tip. That's the Flower Beauty, and it's a felt tip. It looked like a brush tip on the packaging, so now I'm pumped. So for just a couple dollars more, you could get a much more black and intense liner. Gonna have to clean that up with a makeup wipe, but that is a nice black liner. It's looking like it's drying matte. All right, so we fixed it up, we cleaned everything up. Looking better already. We're going to put some mascara on our top lashes. I'm just gonna use this Essence the Falsy, or the False Lashes Mascara. Um, I'm not like trying this out. I'll let you guys know what I think of my hits and misses, if I like it or not, for a dramatic mascara. But I just need something really quick to coat my lashes before I put falsies on. So I'm gonna quickly put on these false lashes. These I have not tried from the Eyelore line. They're the Vegas Nay Fiercely Fabulous. I also found my gilded ones, like the Faux Mink lashes at Walmart too. These were like 9.48 or something. Pretty sure at Ulta they're like 14 something. So I feel like that's with every makeup product though. Like you can get them for cheaper at Walmart. I'm gonna see how these look. I'm gonna have to test them out, but these do have a bit of a thicker band 
kind of like their regular Eyelore lashes. If you get the faux mink ones in Gilded, they're not this thick. But I think these could be pretty. So I'm going to measure these off glue them. I'm going to come back. We're going to do face and then put these on. Now today we're going to try a BB cream and this is the Flower Beauty BB cream. It's in the shade BB3. The display said that it was a full coverage matte BB cream. So that's what got me because it said full coverage and matte in the same sentence. So I was like, okay, I have to try that. I haven't tried a BB cream in so long. I need to go get the Garnier BB cream and do a throwback throwdown on it. Pretty packaging. That's what it looks like. And then you have this harder lid right here. Hopefully this color is not too terrible. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to apply. It says apply with your fingers, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's what I get for saying I'm not going to do that. These are not makeup sweatpants. Okay, this looks a little dark, but we're just going to see if we can make it work. I'm not going to use a primer because holy shiitake mushrooms. I mean, you guys see it, right? This is a BB cream. Okay, so it is quite a bit darker than I am. I thought my self-tanner would work today, but it's not as dark as this. Holy crap. That is like a full... They ain't lying when it's full coverage. So this is with no primer because usually when you apply BB cream, you, should, you don't have to apply a primer. Okay, so minus the fact that it is so dark, we'll have concealer on so we'll make it a little bit better. But that is definitely a full coverage BB cream. I've never seen that before. Like that intense and full coverage. Hopefully our concealer, you know, lightens us up a bit. But that is, I mean, with one stroke. Wow. I mean, cover it up. I feel like you can mix this in with your foundations if you needed it to be a little bit darker. Cause the color, like the tone is really nice and it's so lightweight gonna see how it looks when it's set but so far it is looking really nice so I'm actually gonna use the LA girl pro conceal this is in the shade natural I just want to test it out again and I'm gonna use the equal tools perfecting blender duo I'm gonna use this one in here to blend it out because I've seen this everywhere and I've wanted to try it so bad I've heard great things about it they're cruelty free they recycled okay so it did get quite a bit bigger and it feels really nice and squishy. So that's what it looks like after you wet it. Seems really nice. So again, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural. We're gonna highlight the face a little bit. I like that this end is like really defined so you don't mess up your liquid liner because I do that all the time. I like this, but I feel like this end's just a little too thin for me. We're starting to look a little bit more put together now. <laughs> just a little Lash has a really thick band. Not quite feeling it. I'm not putting these on. The lash band is just way too thick. So I'm gonna use my favorite Eyelore Gilded Lashes. These are amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna set and I'm gonna use one of my favorite powders. It's the LA Girl Pro Powder. And it's in the shade Banana Yellow. It's just a light hint of yellow, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna bake my face with this. This is gonna be a good baking sponge. Oh yeah, it's nice. All right, so we are baking a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do my brows. I'm gonna use this new e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Brush. It's a brow brush and it's dual ended, which is what I love. And it reminded me of my Sephora brow brush. So I'm gonna see if it's a dupe. So that's what it looks like right there. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I love this brow pomade. This one in the e.l.f. Brow and Liner Cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is always my good brow. Like this brow just kills it every time. Other brow, not so much. I really like that brush. I give that brush a two thumbs up. I feel like it did a really great job. It did the same job that my Sephora one does. And it has a spoolie on the end, so it gets my recommendation. So to dust away the baking, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Airbrush Blender. This brush is so pretty, so soft, and it's got a little angle to it. I'm intrigued. The handle is so pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna Dust away the baking. I like how it's angled so it gets right underneath the eye. 
It's really dusting everything away beautifully. It's a very soft brush. Look, guys, see, we look a little normal. Now I'm going to use something a little different again to contour. I'm going to use this Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. I think this is the one that I've heard everybody rave about. So now I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm going to go in with the bronzer very lightly. It is very powdery. Just keep that in mind. I'm just going to contour the face. Lighter the hand, the better. Cause this is deep and intense. All right, this is blending out really nicely. I'm actually liking it a lot. I was hoping since it was so creamy that it would blend out really well, and it definitely did. So I like that a lot. Then I'm gonna take the blush in the palette and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. I feel like I really didn't dip into it that much, but I got a lot of payoff. I really like this blush color cause this is the kind of blush color that I go for, something like a flush. You know, you get rid of the redness and then you put it back on your face. But you put it where you want it, you know? Can I just say, I feel like this BB cream is holding up really well because I've been blending so much on my face with these brushes that it's just holding up really well. So shout out to that BB cream. My Anastasia highlight brush, number 23, is downstairs. So I'm gonna take this one from Target. I got it in a little set. And we're just gonna highlight. Very pretty drugstore highlighter. So now we're going to put some liner on our waterline. And I am using, again, a Flower Beauty Longwear Eyeliner. This is in the shade, em oh, in the shade Emerald? I thought it was black. Not a ton of color payoff, but it's not awful. Now we're going into this Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. This one is in the shade Daffodil. I also got the Darker Nude, which is Buttercup, and that's what they look like. Oh my gosh, the packaging of these is just to die for. I love it. I love that they do stuff like this so you can reuse it for something else. You also have a mirror in here if you do want to touch up your lips. So I'm going to use Daffodil. I love that they're flowers too because I love anything like to do with flowers. I used to go to the grocery store and buy flowers every week and then that got a little expensive so I quit doing that. And they kept dying so quickly even when I put the food in there. So I quit doing that but I really love flowers. This packaging reminds me so much of the new Makeup Geek ones that are out. Now when I pulled out the Makeup Geek from the PR package, the top is like half this size and I, the one thing that I was thinking was like oh I wish it was a little bit bigger this one is the perfect size perfect size I love it because it is such a sleek little tube again this is daffodil wow this smells like cupcake batter I did not exfoliate my lips today so I would recommend doing that before using this product because it does cling to any dry patch or anything like that. So far I do like it minus the fact that it's clinging to everything if you can see that right there. I don't know if you can see it but it's a really pretty color, smells really good, it's not too overpowering. Okay guys so that is it. That is the makeup look that I came up with trying out new drugstore products. I am very impressed. I think everything looks really great. For the most part I was really happy with how everything turned out so let me know down below what you guys think was the best product that I tried. I really like everything and minus a couple of things which is not bad for this huge haul that I did. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep a lookout for a wear test on the Flower Beauty BB Cream. I will be doing that very soon. And thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.